Hey, what's up guys? This is Jedith and this is my last night in the alpha um, before it actually gets pushed out to the public. So we had early access as content creators and uh, oh man, it's been quite a ride. I recorded so many videos, more videos than I have probably in the entire year of 2024 so far. I recorded more in like two nights. To kind of close it off with a fun video, I decided I'm going to show you guys some of the new mounts that obviously haven't been announced in any fashion yet, but they are kind of hidden in the mount journal here on the alpha. Let's start. I have a list here and they have like kind of code names that I'm going to type in so we can bring them up. So the first one is called Alunira. Now this one, I actually found where you get this. It's in the Isle of Dorne in the southwest at the very, very top of a mountain. Uh, all the way down here. I don't know how you actually get it, but that's where that mount is flying. It's circling at the very top of that mountain. There's going to be some way that you have to probably like tame it or pull it down to fight it. Something like that, but it's uh, over here. Next one is, now these are cool, Crowd Pummeler. So this is a new type of like mecha suit that I guess engineer engineering can make. Um, this one in particular looks really cool. I like the color variants of it. And there are a few other ones. The next one is called Stone Vault Mech Suit. I'm not sure how you get this one. It just says placeholder. As you can see, it's just a different color. Then we have the Dwarven Mech Boss. Again, same thing, slightly different color. Now we have the Delver's Dir Dirigible. Delver's Dirigible. I think that's how you say that. Um, so this is going to be your customizable mount that you get from doing delves. I'm not sure what the process is in terms of like actually acquiring this because it's not implemented in the beta yet or in the alpha. I'm assuming it will be soon because they want to get the delve stuff out as soon as possible so they can get the, as much testing onto it as they can. Uh, but this is what it starts off looking like and then you can customize it. Different parts, different colors, different accessories. Yeah, this is your new dragon riding customizable mount type of thing. I'm really excited about this one. Smoldering Cinder Bee. So yes, it is a bee. A bee that's on fire and it has a, a saddle on it. Pretty sick. Um, you guys will be seeing a lot of these bees in one of the dungeons called the Cinder Brew Meadery. It's one of the first dungeons you do in this new expansion and I actually have some content of me doing it. So if you want to see the full dungeon run of of that, uh, you can head on over to my second channel. I'll put a link down in the description. It's the entire dungeon run. And you can also find the guide on this channel that you're watching this video on. Let's carry on here. The Fire Bee. So there's a couple different color variants of this one. It's the same one, except it's just blue and purple. I really like this color. Uh, we have black and red. We have a kind of a lighter black and red. We have a very very red and orange and angry B here. Red skin, dark saddle. And then a white one. This one's kind of cool, actually. It's like an albino. Albino bee. Okay, let's see. Firefly. So we got some more color variants of this. This is like a little... I don't know, it's like a moth, maybe? It's a, well, it's a firefly, but it kind of looks like a moth. Different colors of this. Green one, uh, orange one, yellow. And of course, the blue. Um, now we got the creepy ones. The flying Nerubians. These are not for people who are, you know, scared of spiders or don't like any of that stuff. They're, they're pretty creepy, but they are super cool. I like how ornate their saddles look. Uh, we got a white one, a bunch of eyes. I don't like that. A uh, different color of that and a green one. Now this, okay, this mount that I'm about to show you quite possibly the coolest mount I've ever seen. Maybe that's just me. Maybe this is just my personal opinion. If you don't like this mount, you're freaking crazy. Ready? Oh my God, this thing is a beast. Look at this guy. Um, this is kind of the same model as the, the big bat that we got for, um, I believe it was going into Shadowlands or BFA. I can't remember, one of the expansions. It was in the, the Night Elf Sylvanas, no, it was the Undead. 
helps the undead quest line. Um, we got a bat like this. This this version is insane. It has gold armor on it. Holy smokes. I don't know how we get this one. Um, it says gladiator mount. So PVP. Uh, I might have to start doing PVP to get this because this is insane. All right, let's move on. Uh, we got the Nerubian War Beast. So a bunch of different colors of this. It's a pretty cool mount as well. It's like a, a Nerubian insect type of thing. Kind of the same skeleton as the um, the last one we just looked at. It's got some spider webs on it. Um, obviously different colors. All very cool. I like this one. Okay, now these ones are kind of interesting. They might look familiar to you. They look a lot like the Shadowlands KSM mounts, don't they? Slightly different, a bit more. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. They're they're the same but different. But there's three versions of it. There's a black one. There's a brownish gold one and a purple one. Look at the face on this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. This makes me want to get a pet cat again. Brown fur, dark armor, gold fur, yellow armor, red fur, red armor. Ooh, a red cat. It's like Clifford the Big Red Cat. White fur, purple armor. Yeah, these are sick. Uh, I'm assuming these are going to be rep mounts, the, the Arathi. What else we got here? Cave borers. We got some cave borer worms. These are creepy as hell. But like I said earlier, I love how all these Nerubian mounts have armor and like adornments and gemstones on them plate armor uh, i don't like that this is like kind of like a slug with legs though i do have a problem with that and look at his mouth Ugh. okay let's let's get away from this one got some more uh, mole mounts guys little mole dirt diggers um this guy has a, a very strange nose is that a thing do do moles have noses like that let me know in the comments. I'm not familiar with this type of beast. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different colors of these. Not sure where they come from, but I don't know. Not my favorite. I don't really... I'm kind of over the whole Zerolite Caverns mole people thing. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Unicorns. Unicorn moose. Unicorn meese? Meeses? Meeses? Look at this thing so regal it's got that got that corkscrew horn so we got a, a this one that supposedly is blue brown copper saddle crimson dark saddle ivory silver saddle yellow white saddle and then we got the proto rams these are big boys these are big boys these are goats i have a strange relationship with goats it's not what you think anyways lots of colors here and now we got the spiders. Very creepy. They're kind of a combination of like spiders and crabs because I have the crab claws and the spider legs. But you got different colors. You got blue, green, uh, red. Wait, are these colors right? It says blue. I'd say this spider's kind of red. Uh, this is like yellow and green. Yellow and blue, but it says green. Who knows, man? Either way, they're creepy as hell. The final one. Guys, there's a PvP mount. Another one. The very obviously PvP one. The Vicious Flying Nerubian. So this is the Alliance Vicious mount. And I think it is pretty awesome. That looks incredible, doesn't it? I think this is sick. Again, this might make me PvP. Man, PvPers get the, the best mounts, don't they? Spoiled. Alright, well, there you have it, guys. This is all that we can find right now. There may be more mounts coming in future alpha builds, so I'll be sure to update you if I find anything cool. Thank you for watching. I'm trying to hit 30,000 subs before the War Within releases. I am super close. I think we're at like 29,000, so we're a thousand away. So if you could help out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.